thanks for that question. Um, I think that GFAP is a, is a very interesting biomarker. Um, it's much earlier on compared to NFL, I would have to say, kind of in terms of the pipeline of development and our knowledge about it. But it seems to, and again, GFAP is, um, is, is an astrocytic marker. And so it's, it's different from NFL and it's thought to potentially, um, capture a, a unique, um, a unique component of the pathophysiology of multiple sclerosis, as well as other neurological diseases. So overall, there are some studies recently that have suggested that GFAP may be, um, may be better associated with, um, progression independently of relapses and multiple sclerosis. And that potentially combining GFAP and NFL may allow us to better predict the patient's course. However, there are some studies that have, have not found similar findings. And overall, I think that it's, it's an area that's under active investigation. And so we're, we're looking into it as well and are, are, are trying to see if the combination of NFL and GFAP can be a better biomarker capturing more globally what's going on in multiple sclerosis as well as other neurological diseases.